let's start with lesson 11 a trip to the red planet mars winter had started and minnie and johnny had come to the village with their parents one morning minnie and johnny along with bhola their uncle's son was sitting on a rock on the bank of a river and enjoying the lovely view vast field lay stretched across the other side of the river stream suddenly they were blinded by a bright light in the sky all of them jumped from the rock they were sitting on they saw the bright light gradually coming down to the ground then the light switched off the three children held each other's hand they were scared and trembling they saw a small circular aircraft landing on the ground as they turned to run away they saw a door open in the aircraft a small man came out from inside he was wearing a helmet as he walked towards them he removed his helmet he had a bluish complexion and big bulging eyes he had very small ears he was wearing a tight fitting space suit he smiled at them and put a device on his mouth and said hello his voice sounded very hoarse the trio also mumbled hello he spoke again i am from planet nubis my name is nubis trek planet nubis but i have never heard of this planet said mini it is very very far from the earth humans have not discovered it yet but we are far advanced than you people are we have come to the earth many a time in fact we have the technology to become invisible said the man from nubis all the three children were very surprised to hear this johnny then came forward and said meet my sister mini we live in a town 200 km away from here he is bola he lives in this village hello he said why do you speak with the machine on your mouth asked bola this is a machine which translates what you speak into my language and what i speak into your language replied nubistre bola was so excited that he said please take us to your planet for a visit that's not possible because it is very very far away said new mystery and added but if you want i am take you to planet nos that is mars in your language i have been there many times we will be back before evening the three looked at each other and shouted yes let's go new mistress turned and said come along all of them ran to the aircraft off they went into the blue sky up up and up they could see the earth from their craft they were so thrilled and excited that they could hardly speak the craft was moving at an amazing speed and the ride was so smooth that they did not feel any discomfort suddenly numistret said hello there here is the planet red all of you all the three children craned their necks eagerly and what they saw was a spectacular view of the planet mars they were face to face with a red colored planet they could see the ridges and mountains they were awestruck by the sight the red color that you see is due to oxidized iron rust in form nubistrate mars has a highly varied and interesting terrain some of it is quite amazing mini who was barely able to speak said softly nubistrate do you know that one martian year has 687 days one martian day has 24 hours 37 minutes and 23 seconds i have read it in a book bola was dumbstruck nubistrate continued mars surface temperature 
varies between 27 degree centigrade to 105 degree centigrade. It is very cold, windy and a lonely place. There are dark rocks and there is a no life on Mars. Although most of the Mars resembles nothing more than a rocky desert, there are many features on the planet that are nothing like anything found on the Earth or anywhere else for that matter. If we are to ever live on the surface of the red planet, we will have to do so either living underground or in some kind of domed areas to protect us from the extreme cold and high wind. In addition, we will have to find a way to extract water and oxygen from the icy soil. Nubistret now pointed at a crater and said, Another interesting fact about Mars is that it has many extinct volcanoes. Look at the giant volcano. Humans have named it Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons is much larger than Mount Everest that you have on the Earth. It is over 75,000 feet tall and over 35 miles wide at its base. As they were talking, their craft landed on the Martian surface. Nubistret said, Let's get down. They got up and began to get down. Suddenly, Minnie heard a loud thud. She got up and switched on the light. Johnny was lying on the floor, shouting, Come on, let us get down, let us get down. Ma, Baba, Grandpa and Grandma all came running in. Minnie shook him up, worried that something was wrong with him. He woke up with a start, eyes wide open. He asked, where is new mystery? Everyone laughed. I had almost landed on Mars, said Johnny. Sheepishly rubbing his eyes with both hands, 